friends in this one we're going to talk about this double sum so i will illustrate what's happening here graphically we have the double summation x goes from 1 to 3 and then y goes from 1 to 2 and the expression is x times y so if you think about this x and y contains two variables usually when you have that when you depict it graphically you get a thing in terms of a three-dimensional coordinate system that looks like the following take a look if an axis this way this could be your x-axis this is your y-axis and then the value of x multiplied by y that would kind of pop out as a vertical little segment coming out of the xy plane that's how you can visualize it take a look call this here x and then call this y and then on this axis you would plot every value of x times y this way so let's add some line markers though so specifically you know we're going to say that this here represents x equals 1 that line this would be here x equals 2 and let's call this x equals 3 right here and the same thing with the y so let's see here let's call this y equals 1 and let's call this right here y equals 2 what we can do next is the following take a look to visualize the sum remember that this is x equals 1 and y equals 1 you can represent that by basically setting up a little line segment that goes up that way y equals 1 and this is x equals 1 right here so when you multiply 1 by 1 you get 1 which is represented with the green line segment now this would be y equals 2 right here and this is still still x equals 1 in this position so for that reason if you think about it the expression is x times y so this would be the x value of 1 multiplied by 2 so you could represent that by basically taking this segment and then making two copies of it you see and then stacking them on top of each other because we have a value of 2 so that's, that represents a value of 2 all right so now remember this is x equals 2 also and this is lastly x equals 3 all the way down here so go on now what about at this meeting point well here x has the value 2 and y has the value 1 so if you multiply 2 by 1 you're going to get 2 which means in other words in this position you would represent it by again putting a segment of length one at first and then double it because it's actually two so I'll put this on top of it like this that's two and we are x id across when x is two and y is two two times two is four because it's the product of x and y so how do we represent that you basically take this and you're going to stack it out here four times so once okay twice three times three times and then four times this way see so that represents the next value of four in that position now when x has the value 3 and y has the value 1, you multiply 3 by 1. So that's going to give you a value of 3. So you would indicate that by a segment here, right, right above it there another segment this way, and then right above it another segment this way. See that's, that represents 3 arising out of the surface so to speak. And the last part is where x has the value 3 and y has the value 2. 3 times 2 according to xy is 6. You would represent that as follows. You would take these here basically and put them in that position so that represents four but then you need to add two more so take two more from somewhere else so i just make a copy or draw it by hand like this so that's five and then this is six so that represents six at the meeting where x is three and y is two because you multiply them to get six so now that we have all of these little segments rising out of the xy surface representing the different values of x multiplied by y Let's actually calculate the sum. So let me kind of take this here. Let's go through the process of calculating the sum. So the sum would be the following. 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1 times 2 is 2 plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 times 1 is 3 plus and then 3 times 2 is 6. So it's going to be 18 essentially, see? And then this is the sum. That's it for this one, friends. I hope it's been insightful, helpful. I'll see you in another video. Please leave a like and subscribe.